I was giving advice the other day to a buddy of mine who's starting a YouTube channel. And yes, I know this channel isn't huge at the time of me publishing this, but I've grown other channels uh, and I've done a lot of other marketing in the last couple of years. So I really understand how the algorithms work and all of that kind of thing. And this friend was sort of like, I don't really know where to start. And I think a lot of other people feel that way when they're starting out. So something you can really do to make sure you're successful on YouTube is to plan your videos out before you film them. It's so, so important that you do this. So I've personally experimented with a lot of stuff for the, you know, 100 YouTube videos that I have on the platform and the 150,000 views that those have racked up. So I've personally scripted and filmed that many videos that have done, you know, some have done great, some have done really bad. And I know the process that I've gone through on the good videos and the process that I haven't gone through on the bad videos. So in this video, I'm going to go over everything I've learned when it comes to scripting those 100 YouTube videos. And then also tidbits I've learned from YouTubers with millions of subscribers. We're talking Ali Abdal, who I've met in person, uh, meet Kevin, Graham Stefan, these people that really understand the platform. And guys, just a quick plug before we go into that. If you're looking to buy any online course, just go check out Course Ranks. It's a ranking site for online courses. You're going to love it. It's amazing. You can trust the reviews on there. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So first, we're going to go over the biggest thing you need to focus on when it comes to YouTube. Then we're going to tell you what structure you need to follow when you're editing your videos and, you know, scripting those out, obviously. And then following that, we'll go over some common pitfalls that other and other questions that people usually have when it comes to scripting their videos. So first of all, the biggest thing you need to focus on, what is it? It's value. So value comes in a lot of different ways, guys. Entertainment can be value. Being funny can be value. Offering a different or unique perspective can be valuable. So you want people at the end of your video to subscribe because they're thinking, wow, that was amazing. I mean, this person offered insight that I have never heard and or, you know, that was hilarious. I want to see something more like that, not because you asked them to subscribe. So you want them to subscribe because they like you, they like your content not because you told them, hey, smash the like button and smash that subscribe button and they don't even remember you. They don't know who you are and they're not gonna watch your videos again. So if you put those questions I just mentioned through the filter of, does this make my video more valuable? Then yes, absolutely do that thing. But when you're first starting out, you know, you have a limited budget perhaps and you have limited time. So you need to make sure that you're focusing on the absolute most important thing. And then once you start making money, you can, you know, invest in a bigger, more fancier set and uh, better equipment so that your audio and your lighting look better. All of those things come with time, but scripting really is probably the first thing you need to learn when it comes to YouTube. And just a quick note, guys, on kind of scripting everything out word for word or just having some bullet points. I've done both and I've seen the benefits of both. So if you script everything out, it gets a little bit difficult to not sound monotone, but you can probably see some of the course ranks videos out there where I sound a little bit monotone, not super ideal, but it allows you to have a very, you know, concise video that doesn't have any fluff and you, you're saying exactly what you want to say. But a video more like this, where I've listed out points that I want to talk about, you know, I'm a little bit more, I'm not so monotone in this video. And so the people on the other side of the video tend to just enjoy that more when it's valuable. You know, I spent quite a bit of time putting this video together. I've had, you know, two years of experience with YouTube to back this up as well, but I'm not reading directly from a script. So in Meet Kevin's YouTube course, he calls this thought salad. When you don't script anything out and you're just kind of like throwing stuff at your people that are watching the video, you're, you know, they're not like, oh, they're like, oh, I like this, but I'm not really sure what he's trying to communicate. There's some good ideas in here. It's like a podcast where you have to listen to the whole thing instead of, you know, people come to YouTube because they want a 10, 15 minute breakdown of something that's really, really valuable. So you have to learn how to provide that. And just another thing to tack on to that, the skill that you need to develop as a YouTuber, as a content creator online is to be able to talk without a script, to give coherent thoughts one after another without actually having to read it. And so the more you can practice that, the better. As you get started, you'll need more help. And then as you're progressing forward, you won't need as much of that help. All right. So that leads us into our next section about structuring your video and how to make it so people will actually watch it. So there's two ways to think about this. The first one is thinking about it as a five paragraph essay. You know, you wrote this, everyone's written these since like fifth grade. You have an intro, you have three body paragraphs, and then you have a conclusion where you kind of back up all of that argument and say your thesis again. The other way to think about your video is sort of like a movie. So you have the intro where you're kind of establishing who the character is, and then you have the rising action leading all the way up to the climax. And then at the end of the climax, it goes down 
there's the falling action and then the movie ends. So as we go through the structure I'm about to outline, you'll see each of these things, kind of motifs of these in what we're talking about. And you can use whichever one works better for you or whichever one works better for the video you're outlining. So the first thing we have is the intro, right? And the first 15 seconds of your video guys is so, so important because if you don't establish your credibility, you don't help people understand why they should be staying, then they're just going to click off. You can see it in the YouTube analytics. I see it every time I go in. Yeah, when I haven't made a good video that's really enticing, that makes people want to stay, there's so much drop off in those first 15 seconds. So you really have the, you know, 15 seconds to a minute to establish, hey, this is the video you should be watching. So there's multiple ways to do this. The first one, Parker Wallback and his course creator pro calls this the why before the how. So this is where you talk about what you're going to talk about, but you have to answer the question of why you should watch before you tell them the how of whatever you're teaching them in your video. So there's a couple ways to do this. The first one is to answer a question or to ask a question and then answer it. So for example, if I was making a YouTube video for my marketing agency, I would say, hey, a question we get a lot around here is how do I effectively market my business? So this video is my 10 steps for effectively marketing your business in 2021. I ask a question that a lot of people have and then I go ahead and say, hey, we've got some steps. You know, I've got my paragraphs, even though in that there's 10 steps instead of three steps. I'm answering that question throughout the whole video and it really increases the amount of time people want to watch. And then the other thing to keep in mind here is you need to give them a reason to stay in your video. So Ali Abdal has this video about scripting YouTube content, which I'll try to find and put down in the description below. But he talks about this first part, establishing who the character is. You know, you have to establish some sort of credibility, relatability, or maybe vulnerability. When you're first watching, you know, the first 10 to 15 minutes of a movie, they're really establishing who that character is and why we should care about them. If not, we turn the movie off and we watch something else, right? So think about the first minute of your video like that as well. And then also in those first 15 seconds to a minute, you really need to establish what's in it for the person that's watching. Also, one thing to keep in mind, guys, don't ask for engagement too soon. If you have a really small channel, if you're just starting out, it's not very smart to say, hey, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and like, let's get into the video. Because why would somebody subscribe to you, you know, if only 10 other people have subscribed, it's not very enticing for them to subscribe as well before you've provided value. At the end of the video, after they see, wow, this person really knows what they're talking about, I want to subscribe to their channel, go ahead. That's a really good idea. But right now, at the beginning of your video, especially if you're a small creator, just don't say anything, just get right into the value. All right, so once you've written your intro and scripted that out, the next thing you need to do is go into the rising action or to the main arguments of your five paragraph essay. So a few ways to do this is to one, break things into steps. So in our course review videos on course ranks, we say we're going to cover the main things you need to know about the course, the best pros and the best cons, and then give you an overall score about this course. So that's, you know, the two to three main points we're going over in that case, three or four main points. So that's really great. The other example I gave about the video where we're going over how to market your business, I said the top 10 tips to market your business, right? Another thing, if you're thinking about it in terms of the five paragraph essay is just write out those two to three main arguments that you want to make and then go through it. You know, if you're like a handyman repair channel, you just go up and say, you know, in this video, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to finish a basement. So we're going over my top three tips to finish basements and make sure you stick around for tip. Uh, it's really going to help you make sure you save money when you're finishing your basement. Really cool. That entices me to actually listen to what he's saying because I know that this is a well thought out video and I also know that I'm going to get some actionable things to take away. All right. So that leads us into the last bit of our structure here, which is the falling action. If you're thinking about it as a movie or the outro and kind of the rebuttals if you're thinking about it as a five paragraph essay. So going back to our example about my 10 tips to marketing your business, at the end of my video, I might say, hey, you know, if you're doing all of these things and your business still isn't taking off, it's probably because you haven't looked at number one close enough, which is product research. And that's actually finding something that people want to buy before you try to sell it. So you're thinking about what somebody might say against what you've said or why it might not work for them. And then you're trying to answer those things before somebody has to throw it in the comments, right? And when you say stuff like that, I absolutely promise you, you're going to get more comments actually, because people are going to say, wow, that's such a good point. Or I, I never thought about it that way. And when you offer that unique perspective and make sure that you sort 
sort of answer the questions of the other side before they're even asked, people are going to say, this person really thinks through what they put on here and I really want to subscribe to them. All right. So now we've gone through the intro and the rising action of this video. So I'm going to go into that rebuttal portion right now. So just a few more tips that I've heard that you might be wondering about when it comes to scripting your videos. The first one is make sure you inflect your voice, guys. So you need to go up and down and kind of be excited about things. Talk a little bit lower, look off to the side, you know, breaking eye contact with the camera is also very important because nobody just talks like this. Nobody just stares at the camera, talks like this and reads off. So if I was reading my script, this is what it would sound like. Thanks guys. Make sure you go to course ranks the next time you want to buy a new course. Thanks and goodbye. No, that's not what you want it to sound like. That's not what anybody wants it to sound like, right? So you need to be yourself talking to the camera, break eye contact, come back, talk low, talk high. All right. And this last tip comes from Parker Walbeck again in his course, Course Creator Pro. He talks about when he's scripting a video, he'll go to YouTube and he'll type in the search term for whatever he's talking about. He'll watch the first one to three three videos that come up and he'll look for things that he liked and he'll write them down. And then he looks for things that he didn't like and he'll write them down. And then he looks for places where there's fluff, where he could really cut things out. And, you know, maybe it's just not necessary to have it in the video. And so that's something you might follow, especially as you're getting used to things. You can kind of watch and analyze other videos as you're going through this. Make sure you don't spend too much time. It's just important that you practice creating, practice getting natural in front of the camera. That's way more important than you watching and analyzing other videos. But that last point about cutting out Fluff, it's so, so important, guys. If you repeat yourself over and over again, people aren't gonna like you, but if you don't explain enough, people aren't gonna feel like they got enough value. So there's a sweet spot right there that you're trying to hit on every single video. So good luck. All right, thanks guys. That's it for this video. Please make sure you go to Course Ranks the next time you want to buy an online course, maybe related to YouTube. Make sure you check out our video about the top YouTube courses. And with all that said, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.